Hello, so let's just get editing some levels here. Um, here, actually I had a thought, an interesting thought. If I take, oop, turn the volume down a bit, that was a bit loud. If I take a skull, put it there, obviously now you can't get into that area, but what I can do is take a transporter and make it the transporter lead you there. And uh, <clears throat> so that gives an interesting thing to that level. Um, do I want to put the exit transporter at the top or at the bottom, do you reckon? Um, that would be interesting to put it down here. And ooh, where do I want it to lead to? That's an interesting thing. Well, I don't want it to lead into here because then you'd have to go through here and that would cause problems or go through the transporter, which you need to exit. Um, and yeah, I want the flow to be you come in, you go to the transport, you come up and you go out. So I don't want it leading into this area or this area. Leading back into this area, depends what I design in here, but that's not quite as interesting. Uh, this area is probably not going to be interesting to lead into there either. Um, hmm. I don't know actually. Uh, what could I do? Um, I'm having a thought. Let me do it at the bottom of this area here so then I could do something mm, does, is that interesting? <laughs> um, because what could happen here is if I pop this here I could add some diamonds going up this oop, this way and then that blocks up off there so when you go down there in the first place um, yeah you just kind of come through here let's put another diamond on, no I don't have diamonds in my hand let's put another diamond here so you come down to this area just kind of go hmm can't do anything there boy this is a long tunnel Grab the uh, time. Oh, that's the time capsule, just because I kind of, when I started the level, level, I thought, oh, the main idea of this will be you have a diamond in the bottom here, diamond in the bottom here, basically a diamond in the bottom of each of the, the mine shafts, and then the rest of the level wouldn't have diamonds. But I've kind of like gone against that with that here, and that would be a bit awkward. And the only thing you could really replace with the the diamonds is the time capsules, and yeah, it could work, but. Yeah, I decided uh, kind of against that because it's, I don't know, depending on your, I suppose, depending on your uh, graphic set, that might be an interesting thing to do, but at the moment that's kind of just, this here is what I'm doing. Um, okay, so I've pretty much got this area sorted, um, maybe put a few of the diamonds around there just to make this a little bit interesting. Do I want to put a safe in there as well? Mm, don't know. Um, another thought I was having is just to make this start a bit more uh, a bit shorter. When you get this uh, time capsule at the moment, the spirit comes up here, then we come along here, da 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 da, around here, and then into here. If I pop a diamond there, it could potentially shorten the length that this uh, spirit has to go to. Oh yeah, it's not going that one, it's going to this one. So but yeah, it could sh shorten the length of the distance this spirit is going to get into this cage, rather than going around, you know, the whole of this top area. Which isn't a very large area, but still it's uh, something which uh, you may want to consider. Um, Okay, so I've got something in this area. I've got an idea for this area, of course, dropping this uh, thing down. And, um, well, how am I going to look at this from the top or from the bottom? Um, so when you drop these down to this hole, you've got the... I mean, I haven't played through it, so it might not work the way I'm thinking, but you should be able to drop these two into here and then drop the rock on them afterwards, which is absolutely fine. Um, and then you've got these two diamonds up here and a rock in here. Um, what would be perhaps an interesting thing? 
what might be an interesting thing to do is to put a skull here so when the dro rock drops in the middle there then you can take that but you can't do any go any further down or take that and you can't go any further down so you have to come back up and so the rock has to drop one side or the other now we could do something like that if you're up here I think you should be able to see that you can see about four down I think one two three four so you should be able to see that you don't want to drop it into this area and then you will want to drop it here and then what happens after that um, you're not going to be able to control it when it's down here so maybe to do something like that so then it comes da -ba 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 there and then the only thing you can do when it lands in that area is take this diamond. Um, what you could do is come down here and underneath and then move across. So if you come down, take this diamond and move back up again, I think that might be the trap that you don't want to do. So if you do this and uh, just that'll do it, won't it? Um, if you want to pop well you could just leave it as it is or pop a diamond in there so if you just take that and come back up it'll roll over here and block this uh, diamond off um, otherwise you just I'm kind of realizing here that I don't need to get the diamond I mean, the rock all the way to the bottom if the rock gets trapped that's absolutely fine at the moment um, so I need to actually come up with a reason to use the rock um, so the way to potentially do that is have another monster um, let's put the monster here um, let's have it on some kind of thing actually of being a single thing that might be a good thing to do so either push it off that way or push it off that way and mm, yeah let mm, <laughs> sorry thinking noise is going on um let me at the moment just kind of put that there so obviously you don't want to push it off that way because when it breaks you might want to drop put the boulder down that way um, so where's the boulder actually going to end up if you come under here and then if you move this way it'll roll down into this area um, which does present a little bit of a problem because we don't have much room to work with here um, mm -hmm. I may have to think about this uh, some more anyway so Hmm. Yeah, this is. Mm. Yeah, having the rock available is a good thing. So what I might do right at the moment is have this. So when it falls down here, it goes da 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 into this spot, so that when you come down here, you can just take this and get the key. And then you can um, <laughs> actually this could go a different way. If I put the key on this side, got rid of the safe from there, put a skull over here, and then put a safe on top. Does that help? Because then the boulder will be down here, and when you get the key, these will be available. So what you do is you take that one out, come around here, drop the egg off, grab that so the boulder can run down, blah blah, squash, 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 the um, monster, and then that's done. Of course, now what I have to worry about here now is having no other way to kill these monsters, because. The whole point of this whole thing is that you use this boulder up here to kill all these monsters. And, um, yeah, that could that would uh, be a problem if you could come over here, for instance, and, and use this. 
but then that's only good for killing one of them. And if you let all these, yeah, you're not going to be able to let all these monsters out um, and then come round here, go in the transporter, come in the transporter, go around here, and yeah, that, that's, you're not going to be able to lead them into this area. Um, yeah, and that's just not going to happen. Um, you can't use this one, obviously, because you have to go down here at the end and then come back up here. Um, and any boulders that are in this area, any boulders that are in this area, won't be useful for killing these um, monsters. Um, yeah, this area is completely blocked off, so it can have as many boulders as it wants in it. And this one, at the moment, I particularly designed this so that you'd have to push the boulder this way and you wouldn't be able to use it to kill any monsters with. So when I fill up the rest of these things, I don't want any... Um, boulders free and up in this top area as well I don't want any boulders free so what's the way to do a puzzle that doesn't involve obviously spirits, cages, monsters boulders <laughs> we're running out of things to use here um, when well, we can use boulders but you've got to make sure that there's no way that they can be used to um, defeat monsters oh. Um, of course, one thing to do, and since you've got spirits running around, you know, you're going to come down here, you're going to rush up here to go, you know, out of the way somewhere. Interesting thing to do would be then to create some kind of skull maze. Um, and it's not going to be much of a maze, really. But, uh... I think that should suffice for things. Um, and then maybe over here, because obviously you have to come down here and then run back up here. Um, well, it depends if you're at one track, because you could probably just like hide to the side and then it would go past you. Um, same here, when this comes up here, you can like hide around the corner here and then it'll just go round here. Um, so these are kind of more for decoration than anything else, really. But uh, it's adding some kind of interest to the area. Hmm, I'm having a thought. Okay, so you come into this area, like, first, and then you let this spirit up, which goes into this cage. That leaves you available to get the key. So you wouldn't have to come through here... Um, Actually, if you go through the um, transport, you end up in this area, and the other transport ends you here, which means you'd have to have moved this spirit out of here by the time you go through this transporter. So then, sorry, I'm thinking through things. Um, yeah, if you go through, clear this area first, then clear this area, then, because this is all leading up to this thing which I've been thinking of, but I haven't actually said. If I put up here a boulder like that, that means when you clear this it will fall on top of the um, transporter if it's still there, otherwise it will fall into the gap, which means you can get through and then you can get back through again, and obviously this can't be used to kill all these monsters over here. Um, so yeah, that works out quite well. Uh, let me put this up here. Um, coming up to 14 minutes here. If I stop here, then I can uh, continue later on. So, uh, thanks for watching.